If you know, you know. Now we know Eris Landilaro violated Ramon Alvarez. He didn't have to do him like that. But obviously, he has beef with Canelo Alvarez. He felt that he got robbed in that fight. I felt that he won that fight in particular. However, Canelo Alvarez chose not to give him the rematch. Now, he fought his brother, and he just violated his brother. We all know Ramon Alvarez is not as good as Canelo Alvarez, and that's why he shouldn't have been in the ring with the Eros Landilaro. they both on two different levels, and Eros Landilaro shows that. So, we'll see if Canelo Alvarez will take revenge for his brother lost. Somebody around Canelo Alvarez has to tell him, they smoked your cousin, and you ain't gonna do shit? And this time it's even worse, it's your brother. So we'll see what Canelo Alvarez would do. I doubt he would be interested in a Lara bout at this point. Obviously, fighters that want to fight Canelo Alvarez, like the Charlos and Andre, they got to take a page out of Lara book, the way he called out Canelo. He hopped on stage during Canelo Alvarez post-press conference, and that messed with Canelo Alvarez's pride, and he ended up taking that fight even though Oscar De La Hoya didn't want that fight for Canelo Alvarez. So they should take a page out of Lara book. However, Lara, after the fight, called out Errol Spence Jr. He called out the truth. He want the smoke with Errol Spence when he moves up to 154. Obviously, Errol Spence has business to take care of at 147. He has a Sean Porter fight coming up. And then maybe a Manny Pacquiao fight, if not. He most likely will fight Terrence Crawford after that. And if Errol Spence is successful, obviously he's going to move to the 154-pound division where he stated he feels he will be a better fighter at 154 because he won't kill himself to make 147. He feels that when he goes in the ring at 147, he's only 70%. But at 154, he's going to be like 95% to 100%. Obviously, every fighter... When they go in the ring, they not 100% due to a rough training camp, sparring, etc., etc. Now, Errol Spence has a lot of names to choose from, from the 154-pound division because uh, J-Rock William called him out, Heard called him out. So he got a lot of options at 154, but a fight with Lara is very interesting. I believe skill for skill, Errol Spence could hang with any boxer in the world. However, Errol Spence excels in a department where Lara lacks, which is inside fighting and mid-range fighting. Now, ironically enough, the fighter Erislandi called out the truth. That's his bread and butter is inside fighting and inside fighting. So obviously, Erislandi Lara is a great fighter and he a great boxer, but that's a tough task. And sometimes you just got to be careful what you ask for. However, regardless of how tough the fight will be for Erz Landilara, it will be his biggest payday, if not one of his biggest payday, against an Errol Spence. So it's worth the risk. However, at the end of the day, I will favor an Errol Spence in that fight because obviously I believe Errol Spence's best weight is at 154. So we'll see what Errol Spence decides to do once he moves up to the 154-pound division. Uh, the sky is the limit. He got a lot of options at the 154-pound division. Even at 160, even Canelo Alvarez calling him out. So that's another huge payday and possibly the biggest fight of them all if Errol Spence gets the fight with Manny Pacquiao and then fights a Terrence Crawford and is able to be successful in those fights. You know, he's going to be a superstar by then. So by the time he fights a Canelo Alvarez, if they both stay winning, is going to be a mega star in the future. So the sky's the limits, like I stated. And like I always say, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't listen to these casual fans. Follow Lon Toon Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me at Aki TV on Instagram and on YouTube. And click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. All the links will be in the description box below. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out.